Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Harris TS-22. It's a butt set, a lineman's telephone basically, and it's all apart. This is Kevin's equipment from New Hampshire and he's got a note with this unit and he was talking about there was no power to the unit and he wasn't getting anything and so we have the unit apart. I want to give you a look at what these units look like apart and so we've already troubleshooted this unit and we've made our repairs and since this is the initial checkout, we're going to kind of run through a little bit about what's going on. Now, one of our last things that we want to do with this unit is I want to install a 9-volt battery plug. And this battery plug is hard plastic. So if you've ever taken a 9-volt battery off of a plug like this, you know that they kind of flop around and they tear and they break and so this is a hard shelled plastic type and we're going to be installing that because the one on this unit is busted up it still works but it needs to be replaced so we're going to replace it with this type of a battery plug we're gonna set that to the side we also want to show that this is some of the material that is covering the PC board and they coat the board in this type of material and it's and it's really just very hard to work with and that has to come off anytime you're working on a PC board this is our transmitter this is a speaker for the amplification then we have our receiver capsule in this part of it. Of course, our keypad. This is the inner electronics that sits inside our receiver capsule area, and it's for the keypad. So basically, the keypad is only a keypad, and our electronics that works that is behind it. Now we have a little bit of electronics here but mostly it's a switch and so this is what it looks like on the inside if you've never seen the inside of one of these Harris TS-22 units now we're gonna flip the unit over a little bit I'll try to give you a little more close-up view of what everything looks like This is our piezo buzzer for the ring cycle, our switch to turn it off and on. This is our amplification button. And this momentary switch is for mute. So that gives you a look at the unit. Now, this is uh, the 9 volt battery plug which is in bad shape but it does work and that will be replaced what we want to do now is we're going to connect this unit up if you watch the analyzer we're going to activate the unit
we'll go ahead and access the line we want to go ahead and lay our pickup in front of the receiver capsule give you some dial tone we're going to go back to amplification we're going to dial some numbers I'm going to end in a 2 now in the amplification mode, I don't believe the transmitter will work, but we want to take it off that, so now what we want to do is we want to put everything back together again, and we're going to replace the battery plug issue. So we'll take care of that. We'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair of this Harris TS-22 butt set. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we are finished up with the repair of this really cool Harris TS-22 butt set lineman's telephone, and we want to run through a little bit of what went on. Now, this is the old battery plug for the 9-volt battery, and like we mentioned earlier, it's in pretty bad shape. So... That was replaced. We want to set that to the side. It is of no use to us. Now we also want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkouts. It's amplified so you can hear the audio from a receiver. And we're not going to use it that much because this butt set is amplified already. But we do want to show that we have dial tone at the receiver and I have an amplifier back by the video it has a button on it and I can push that button and give dial tone or take it away at any time and they are prone to any noise in the atmosphere an open amplifier will bring in any kind of a hum or static noise so now what we want to do is we want to start a ring cycle and you may not hear the piezo buzzer. They're not very loud on this type of uh, butt set for the simple fact that they don't really need to be. And we're going to go ahead and start a ring cycle, and it may pick it up, it may not. I'm going to let it go a few times. I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and put it in the amplification mode and it has three settings. I'm going to put it on the second one because it can get pretty loud. Here's the third. Off second one. We're going to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. I'm going to end in a two. Now I have to turn the amplification off to get our transmit back. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Every time you see that red light, on the analyzer, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> hello, hello. We can go ahead and hang our unit up. We also want to show that we have a last number redial. And so I'm going to go ahead and put it on the second mode of the amplifier.
and you will see on the analyzer it will end in a 2. Now what we want to do is we want to show a stored number. So I want to go ahead and give you some dial tone. That's a time and temp number. We're going to hang up. Give you some dial tone. Hit the second stored number, which will be my number. Take off the amplifier, hang up. One last stored number, which is the time and temp number again. So we know our stored numbers are working. I can turn the amplifier off. Now that we know that this unit is ringing in on a ring cycle, it's dialing out, we have transmit and receive. We can go ahead and push this button on the switch box. That gives us a line out, totally takes the analyzer out of the situation, and we can call a time and temp number. So we'll go ahead and give you some dial tone. I'm gonna put it on the first setting. We're going to make that call. Good evening. Today is Saturday, August 27th. The time is 9.14. Current temperature, 82 degrees. 40% chance of a shower and a thunderstorm today. Partly sunny, high near 87. 20% chance of a shower and a thunderstorm tonight. Mostly cloudy, lows around 71. Sunday, 30% chance of a shower and a thunderstorm, partly sunny, high near 89. Hang up. Dial tone. We're going to call my number and it'll be busy. Turn off our amplification. Now that we know that this Harris T22 has been repaired, we can return it to Kevin and he can enjoy this unit once again. These are very handy and we use them all the time in our line of work. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618 Two three five six nine five nine. Thank you for watching and have a great day.